charged with manslaughter in a drug overdose death is behind bars tonight. 26-year-old Patrick Glade faces involuntary manslaughter in the death of 17-year-old Aaliyah West. West died in June last year after partying with friends. The Polk County Medical Examiner says West died of a methadone overdose. Methadone is used to help control withdrawal symptoms in patients addicted to narcotics. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh is live from the Polk County Sheriff's Office with this story. Marcus. Stacy Patrick Glade is someone the Polk County authorities and authorities have had their eye on for some time. It's always, you know, a person that we were looking at in this case. Lieutenant Brent Long of the Polk County Sheriff's Department is talking about 25-year-old Patrick Glade, originally of Grimes. Glade is charged with involuntary manslaughter in the drug overdose death of Aaliyah West. She succumbed to methadone in this Grimes home. Despite having Glade in their sights, authorities did not rush in and make a quick arrest. It was all about making sure they had the right person. They really wanted to make sure that um, they had all of the all the details covered. There's a lot of details involved in this case, and we did have some lab reports we were waiting to come back. I mean, you know, cases like this do take a long time. Dotting the I's and crossing the T's ended about two weeks ago, so charges were filed and an arrest warrant issued for Glade. But Glade had moved from Grimes. Now authorities had to find him. The U.S. Marshal Task Force, along with Anthony Police, followed up on a tip and were able to locate the subject in Guthrie Center. Glade ended up turning himself in last night at the Guthrie County Sheriff's Office. Long says this should serve as a message to both the public and those who commit crimes. We're going to continue to follow up on any investigation that we have, especially something like this, and we're going to continue to follow up no matter what until the, until the case comes to an end. Long says this is, Lieutenant Long rather says this is also important for the families. It gives them some closure. Now, Glade is being held behind me in the Polk County Jail on a $20,000 cash only bond. Stacy, back Marcus to you. Marcus McIntosh, thank you. Now, we spoke with, Holly, with West's mother, Holly Spengler, today about this arrest. I was shocked. I just, I've come to live with the fact that it was not going to happen. I just kind of come to the understanding that I was just going to have to live with it and that that's the way it was. So when I got the news, it was very shocking.